The year is 2007. As the alternative filmmaking scene grew to encompass virtually every single person on the planet, film projects began to compete by requiring ever-dwindling time limitations. They spread faster than the legs of overly ambitious actresses into every remote corner of the globe. One group of filmmakers working out of St. Louis, Missouri, came up with the seven-minute film project in which teams as ethnically diverse as the cast of Friends must write, shoot, edit, score, release theatrically, pull from theatrical release, and distribute to video rental outlets and overseas vendors within a seven-minute time period. So why did you sign on with this particular team for the seven-minute film project? Well, Joel, Joel Lewis, he uh, came into the, uh, the bar where I was working as a, as a hostess. I was working as a, as a hostess. I thought you were a stripper there. I wasn't stripping, per se. I was doing erotic performance art in the vein of uh, uh, flash dance and the banana splits. A lot of our clients really like um, get turned on by women dressed as small woodland animals. So Joel, Joel Lewis, came walking into the bar one day and so we were sitting there, a little small talk. I ask him if he has any coke and he says I can have all the coke I want if I do this movie for him. Well, he wasn't talking about cocaine. Jeez. Christ. Um, isn't it true that you were recently incarcerated? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you kidding? I've never been arrested. We have videotape of you being arrested on several occasions. We also have court records which indicate that you've been convicted of assault with a deadly weapon, prostitution, possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell, and- If you already knew, then why are you asking all the questions, you dipshit? What role do you think wardrobe plays in a film like this? Well, wardrobe in movies, as in life, is really the most important thing. You can have a fantastic script, superb actors, beautiful sets and scoring, but if one extra is missing a button or wearing mismatched black socks, then you might as well scrap the whole damn thing. I mean, come on, willing suspension of disbelief only goes so far. Just how important do you think sound and scoring is in a movie? What impact can it have on the tone of a film? Who are some of your favorite musicians? I'm sorry, did you say something? I'm here with supporting actress Sam Pickney. The name's Picone. Sam Picone. Okay, Pam, would you please tell us how you got involved in this project? It's Sam. Uh-huh. How did you get hooked up with this team? Well, Joel discovered me in a Ted Drews commercial I did. That's my daytime gig, serving up the number one frozen custard in the tri-state area. What are you doing there? Zen typing. What's Zen typing? <laughs> so it's a little technique I developed. It allows me to type over a thousand words a minute. That's <clears throat> unbelievable. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh. It's nothing but gibberish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look. It's, it's like Zen archery. Hmm? See, in Zen archery, the master doesn't even look at the target. I mean, why would you? It doesn't matter if you hit the target or not. I, I mean, unless I suppose there's somebody walking behind it. I, you, you know what I mean. Hmm? So what's with the stick? Oh, the stick. Yeah, this is my, uh, my Filipino directing stick. You know, it helps, helps keep me focused. You know why? It's all about balance. Balance. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> why did you decide to make this film at this particular time? Mm, yeah. See, I've, I've been a writer my whole life. I mean, at least as long as I've known how to write. You know, I was 12, 13 years old. But my first professional gig, I'd, I'd say that was three months ago. 
very prestigious grocery store chain in town uh, that saves so much. Yeah. I write all their ads. Yeah. And the coupon circular. Mm -hmm. I also do some inventory control work in the canned foods department, but... Uh... You mean you stock shelves? You could say that, yes, if you were unenlightened, sure. Sure, but here, anyway, <clears throat> so, like three days ago, I'm in a bookstore, I pick this up, I start reading it. <laughs> I, am, I am so engrossed, I walk out of the bookstore without even paying for it. Uh, luckily, luckily, no, the, the manager, she's not a, an indie film type here, so I don't think she's going to see this, but you know, I'm, I'm halfway through the introduction, and I know, I know, screenwriting's for me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, and truthfully, between you and me, I had no idea it'd be so easy. <laughs> yeah. Oven bake, scene four, take 18. Can I please have some backstory? You have one line. Right, just, just say it. All right, quiet on the set and action. Stick it in your ear, buddy. Would you, just, would you just say the line? Let's go get a beer, buddy. Did, did you even look, look at the script? Knock him on his rear, buddy. You believe this guy? Kick it into gear, buddy. See, that, that's the line. Oh. I'm going to have to do it myself. Why did you decide Hold to it. direct it yourself? You were saying? Why did you decide to direct it yourself? Well, you know, it's, it's all about creative freedom. You know what I'm saying? Power to the people. Don't let the man get you down. Isn't it keep you down? What? Isn't it don't let the man keep you down? See, that's what I'm talking about, brother. And why did you decide to produce it, too? Well, my mom doesn't have this kind of money laying around. Plus, there's this whole business with the 800 bucks I borrowed from her to fix my car, and there's what I borrowed for a tax at Army School. But hey, hey, I am going to pay my mother back. You understand that? With interest. No. All right, just as soon as I figure out where she moved, you know, and as soon as we win this competition. You do know there are no cash prizes, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, I mean you, you knew that, right? You, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I knew that. Sure. I mean, you have to be a, you know, an idiot. To... Yeah. <laughs> 